because the Verizon guy who is installing our Wi-Fi is here and I don't want him to think I'm talking to myself. I just spent the morning editing a moving video, which you would have already seen. And I'm just gonna put makeup on. I haven't gotten ready in what feels like months, but it's probably just been like a week. And I just feel like it'll make me feel more put together because usually by the end of the day, I just feel like a creep. And I put something on my eyes last night that made them like, I don't know, really red. So I also only slept like four hours, I could do it. But on today's agenda, I wanna clean up my office, which I was supposed to do yesterday, but never got to. And I wanna browse for some furniture for up there. I need to, I need to send our wedding invitations today. Like, I have to do that, so that's definitely on my to-do list. I think Chelsea and I are going to record a podcast because we haven't been able to. Obviously, I've been studying and then moving. A few weeks ago, Chelsea's grandfather passed away, so we obviously weren't going to record then. But now I think we're back to a place where we can record. I literally woke up this morning and was like, oh my god. I have to send our wedding invitations. So I'm definitely going to be doing that today. I actually have so much stuff to do for the wedding. So he just has to drill a couple holes. Uh, we're gonna put it in the closet, the router. What closet? On the uh, front, the front door. It's like in the blink of an eye. It's like your mind, you're still mine. skip the small talk, cause you know me. So the Verizon guy just left. I'm uploading my video, Wi-Fi so fast. And I did all of the invitations, which took like an hour. And now I'm gonna go to the liquor store to get some stuff for my bar cart because she's so empty. And all I have around here are white claws and like one or two white claws is fine. But first of all, they don't do anything. And second of all, it's just like, ew, like I'm over it, you know? So this is my really fancy outfit. These are clothes I have to donate. I don't know. I'll just leave them here for now. All right, so I just went to a liquor store. Obviously, since we just moved here, I don't know where any of the good stuff is. I thought this would be a good one because it looks kind of new, but the inside, you know, when you go to a liquor store and it's really old and everything is like just not up to par. So yeah, I have to find a good liquor store. But anyways, I got this Espolone tequila, which is pretty good. I was hoping they would have something like 
fancy to put in my bar cart, but they just had this. So I might like transfer this into this other tequila bottle I have that I just kept because I liked and I thought it was cute just to like store it. And then because I want to make margaritas, I got this ultimate margarita mix. Now this isn't one of those margarita mixes that it has like no alcohol and you have to add your own. This is 19 percent no 10 percent alcohol i don't even know if that's a lot i don't think so so you can always add more and it doesn't have like a lot of sugar i looked at the other one that they had and it was like 45 grams of sugar gross and then i got jesse maker's mark because i never cast it then i just got this margarita salt which i'm so excited i've never used one of those which it's like not that exciting in theory but I just want to make cute drinks and I was really hoping to get like more stuff but they just didn't have any options. So this place was not the liquor store I will be going back to. I really don't feel like going anywhere else so I'm just gonna go home but I think my sisters are coming over later for dinner and again we're gonna order food because we still haven't gone grocery shopping. <laughs> but I just really don't want to. You guys know how I feel about grocery shopping. I saw you, but it feels like yesterday somehow Time has stopped, nothing's changed We're the same And we skip the small talk Cause you know me, yeah you know me Like nobody else Skip the small talk outside enjoying my marg i never i don't think i really like showed the deck but it's cute this is our table we have more chairs upstairs but i don't really feel like it's that important to bring them down because like no one's out here and these willow trees it's just so pretty and i remember playing down here as a kid with my cousins and my sisters i would always play like in this yard and run around so it's just very nostalgic but I'm just outside because it's actually pretty nice out it's not cold and I just cleaned the kitchen so I was sweating I was thinking like we should get little lights for out here so we could sit outside at night because it's still like it's not that cold but I do want to go inside because I can't see anything but tomorrow well right now it's like 3 30 I want to say my sister Katie is coming over with her kids and Rob, her husband, obviously, brother-in-law. I feel like I don't have to explain the family dynamic anymore, but sometimes I still do. They're gonna come over for dinner. And then after, I think Chelsea might come over because we have to record the podcast. And tomorrow I have to go to the mall to pick up a present. We have an engagement party on Saturday. So I ordered these Mr. and Mrs. glasses. They were like, sort of like whiskey glasses. Um, I have to go pick those up from Macy's. Maybe get my nails done because my parents got me that gift card for the bar and I never used it, which is pretty, it's a good thing I didn't because when I was cleaning, like all my nails broke. So maybe I'll make an appointment to get my nails done tomorrow and then go to the mall, maybe like hang out with my parents. They're going to a wedding this weekend. So I have to take care of the dogs on Saturday. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. But while I wasn't vlogging, I uploaded a video and then I had so many emails. Oh my God, I had like 50 emails to get to, which for me is a lot because I usually try to keep my inbox at like two. I had so many from Monday to today. 
I got through all my emails, uploaded a video, linked everything, cleaned the floors in the bedroom, kitchen. I still haven't done my office. But I kind of just don't care because I don't have a desk and until I have one, I just don't really care. So I have to find a desk, but the one that I have in mind is out of stock on Wayfair right now and Walmart and Overstock. So it's leading me to believe they don't make it anymore, which is upsetting. We got everything we need right here. now friday woo not that the weekends or the days mean anything to me anymore the plan for today is the same as it was yesterday to clean the office i never ended up doing it yesterday i stopped vlogging pretty early my sister came over for dinner and after she left i fell asleep for like an hour took a little nap and then after that, I did so much stuff for the wedding because I have just obviously been a little busy. So I had to respond to some emails for that. And I ordered some dresses for my bridal shower so I can just try them on, pick one, return the others. And just like some stuff for my flower girls, whatever. Applied to some jobs. <laughs> Guys, the job search is so hard. I mean, it's just, it's not a good time to be looking for a job. And the fact that I had basically two jobs lined up, both of which didn't end up working because of COVID is just really annoying. Obviously, nothing I can do about it. So I don't even think about it, but it's very annoying. So I looked for some jobs and then went to bed. Today I'm going to clean the office. I'm going to get my nails done, I'm pretty sure. Because again, not looking good. And I have to go to Macy's and pick up a gift. And I don't know, that'll be all later in the afternoon. But right now I'm just getting ready for the day. My skin already is starting to look so much better. I mean, not that you can really see because all the acne that was like on my chest and back, it wasn't like really acne. It was just like bumps, but I've been taking Spirolactane, I think that's how you pronounce it, for about a week now, maybe a little longer, and my skin is already like clearing up a lot. I am breaking out a little bit on my neck, which is weird, but I think it sort of like purges your skin, so... But the skin on my face is fine because I use Curology every day. But a little skin update. You know, I'll apply to jobs through Simplicity, which is like a, what our school uses as like a job portal posting sort of thing. A lot of law schools use it. Um, or Indeed, which is just like a regular job posting site. All, all the sites I'll apply for jobs through. And you don't really get an email contact through them. Like you just apply through Indeed and you hope that they look at your resume. Demotivating and demoralizing because I know I have a great resume and you know, I had good grades in law school and did all the things I was supposed to do. Yet somehow like it's still not what employers are looking for. So I just like don't even know anymore. I'm like, what should I be doing? Because clearly it's not this. Yeah, it's a hard time to be looking for a job. I'm sure it is in most industries because, you know, COVID came and everyone had to work from home. And I know that a lot of companies weren't able to make that change so easily. And I know a lot of law firms especially weren't able to. So, you know, I'm, it's not just me that is having a problem, but... But the good, like not that COVID was good in any way, but I think it did help employers realize 
people can work from home and be productive or, you know, whatever. And they don't have to be at the office to get these things done. I think a lot of companies, especially companies run by like an older generation of people, just don't believe in the working from home thing. Like they think you have to be in the office. And obviously for some jobs, like that just is true. It's the na nature of the job. You have to be in the office. But a lot of things like you actually really don't. And I think it made a lot of companies realize like people are still productive from home. My summer job last summer, I worked from home all the time. And you know, I got just as much done at home as I did in the office. And that's one thing I loved about that job is like, my employer trusted me to work from home and get things done. A lot of employers think they need to like watch you or something. But that just isn't the case. I think by the time our or my generation, millennials, whatever, are the ones more in charge, I think working from home is just going to be like the biggest thing. I mean, not only does it save companies money, operation costs of an office and things like that, the happier employees are, the more likely they are to put out quality work and actually do things. Like happy employees, happy boss, like, you know, happy wife, happy life. Uh, that's like totally true. And, you know, happy employees, it doesn't only mean, you know, they get good pay and they get good benefits and time off, whatever. That it obviously is a huge factor. But allowing them to have the freedom to work how they want to work is also very important. Because everyone has different working styles you know if you like to work from the office and that's how you're productive like that's great but if you're just as productive from, from home you know that's also good so I think a lot of companies need to just accept that and I think COVID kind of made them let me know if you guys if you worked from home and if you're still working from home or your company is like really eager to get back because I know a lot of companies aren't even planning on going back or if they are it's not for a while all right I'm gonna do my hair into another bun and then change and we'll go clean but I have to charge this camera so TTYL all right I'm all ready to go tackle this cleaning um this is my outfit donut worry is H&M sweats are Abercrombie I've been wearing them like every day because all my other sweat pants are in the laundry at my parents house so I don't have any other top pants and these are Ugg slippers and they're like the best thing I've ever purchased they're so fluffy and comfortable and they were kind of like my bar exam congratulations gift and that's kind of how I've been classifying everything I've been purchasing in the past week is like a bar exam congratulations so I will continue to justify my purchases with that until I don't want to anymore All right, so I've been cleaning up here, which will be my office. This is the loft. So you can see like the living room and whatever from up here. That's the stuff that I threw down. <laughs> so I really just like went through boxes and put stuff away into storage because a lot of the stuff that I brought is just like memorabilia, I guess. Like not things I'm gonna put on display, but things I'd wanna keep. So I put that stuff away. And for now, I'm just going to use this desk until I either, you know, sell it on Facebook Marketplace or get another desk because I don't want to just keep this stuff in storage and then I'll just like literally never come up here and I don't want that. So I'm going to use this desk for now. I just kept out books that I thought were cute or books that 
I've read or want to read. I think I've actually read all of those books. This has to go downstairs. And just like random little things. I don't like having like things on display, so these probably won't stay there. And then I just have some books, like those have important documents. Not actually, they're not that important anymore now that the bar is over. Paper, little things. Again, this isn't staying here. I love this cart, but like the stuff on it probably won't stay here. Those are outdoor chairs. Our couch. This is a box of just more shit I have to go through, which I don't want to. And that Prada sign from art.com, I think what I'm going to do is cover this wall in a nice wallpaper, like the peel and stick wallpaper. Because when you come up the stairs, that would be like the first wall you see. So I would do that one. And then, like, I really would like to do that. That would be the most feng shui, to have this wall. I don't even think feng shui is the right word. But anyways, it would look the best if this wall could be decorative wallpaper. However, the vaulted ceiling, it's just not going to work. So I'm going to do this wall. This wall will have a TV. And then everything over here will just stay the same. But I think I do need a pattern wallpaper just because this room is so big. I feel like I need more than just a few pictures. But I think that will go here. I think I want to get like a tall mirror to put in the corner. Who knows? I need a bookshelf too. I have so many other books. And then this bedroom is going to be our guest bedroom. So we're just going to put a full-size bed in here. My old nightstand will go in here. That obviously won't be in here. And that's really it. We'll put like all of our extra blankets and stuff in here. Literally just a bedroom for people to sleep in if they like can't drive home. <laughs> so I'm really not like worried about that. But yeah, it already looks so much better up here after having vacuumed and just putting stuff away. I just had so much shit in here. I also got these really cute cups from Home Goods a little while ago few weeks ago. $7.99 for a set of four. Oh, but it feels so much better to have done that. I think I'm going to go look on my computer for some wallpaper. That computer isn't plugged in. I need an extension cord, which I have them downstairs, but I'm just too lazy. And I don't want to hang anything up because if I get a different desk and a bookshelf, I don't know that I'm going to like keep things the way they are. I definitely want to get like a white lacquer desk and a bookshelf because eventually when I have a job, I would assume I'll be working from home for a little while. And even so, when you're not like technically working from home as a lawyer, you like work 24 seven. So I do need like all the books. There's actually not many books you use as a lawyer. You use the internet, but you know, I have other books that I want to have out and just stuff to have on a bookshelf instead of I don't know, on the floor. <laughs> but that's all I'm gonna do up here. I think I've kind of hit my limit. Jesse also unboxed our blender. My aunt got this for us. Look at all these like amazing little settings. I've never had a blender like this, especially the one that has the like plastic piece you put in here so you can make like smoothie bowls and stuff. I've never had one like that. It's totally not gonna stay here. It's gonna go like in a cabinet, but. So I'm going to go look up some wallpapers and that's it. All right. Now it's like two. I end up just like cleaning the windows and stuff, looking online and time just flies by when you're having fun. And I'm going to go get my nails done. So this is my outfit. So sweatshirt is Abercrombie, jeans are Revolve, girlfriend denim, Air Force Ones, and I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath. I don't really know like if it's cold or hot. It's that weird time of year. So Peach has found her spot. She's been like okay. She's been a little bit confused and not really knowing what to do and skittish and stuff. But she likes laying on this thing. So I'm glad we brought it with us because she likes it. And she seems the most relaxed <laughs> when she's on it. So that's good. But let's go. Let's get these things fixed. All right, I just got my nails done. I went to Macy's before. I was kind of rushing, which is why I didn't vlog. So I had to go to the bank, and then I had to go get gas, and then go to the mall, and then get my nails done. Anyways, I 
think this is Mod About You by OPI. It's gel, so I didn't get to see the name, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I always get this color. I have self tanner because I use self tanner drops like stuck at the corner, but whatever. They look so much better just to get all the cuticles cut off and dry skin. And I got a 20 minute massage. That was the best part, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't had a massage in forever. I mean, I never get like a real massage. I've never been to like a spa or anything. But the ones at the nail salon are just as good. It feels so good. Oh my God, I was so happy they were doing that because I know that some places aren't. Oh, I felt so good. My shoulders just feel like released. She was like, wow, you're tense. I'm like, I know. We good? All right, I think I'm gonna go to Home Goods for a second, see if they have a mirror for upstairs my office, and then go to my parents' house, which is so weird to say. Okay, I just got home a little while ago. I'm in full leopard mode. Jesse went out to dinner with his friends, so I'm home alone. But my cousin sent me this bottle of champagne for my bar exam. So thank you to JT and Kaylin for sending me this because it's perfect for my bar cart. And then I bought this at the liquor store earlier. Charles and Charles is a really good rosé. I don't, like I can never really find this. And it's like 16, so when I do, I'll just get it. Looks good, you know. I got these Crate and Barrel champagne glasses in the mail. They're from my wedding registry. I believe they're from Jesse's cousin. So thank you to Hannah, but I have to send her a thank you card and all that. But I just loved them because they're sort of like that square bottom. We got the matching wine glasses as well. And then that's the bottom with Jesse's friggin' computer charger ruining the vibe. So I just made a little drink in a champagne glass even though it's just a tequila soda. So much classier in this though. All right guys, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I was editing it and I was going to include today's footage and then I realized it's already a half hour long. So I'm just gonna end it. But I hope you enjoyed another moving vlog. Honestly, there's probably only gonna be like one more and then they're just like regular vlogs after that because we're getting our furniture for our bedroom delivered tomorrow and that's pretty much it. The rest of it's just like decorations and stuff. So we'll see. Like I feel like that's just going to be an overtime sort of thing, like home goods and just browsing. Like again, I said this in the last video, I'm not gonna like, just order random things or buy random things just to like hang shit up or have whatever. I'd rather actually just wait and buy things I love. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. I'll see you in the next one. I have to show you Peach because she looks like such an angel. We moved this ottoman down here because she loves to sleep on it and I just feel like she's been so out of whack and confused but she'll fall asleep on that so easily so we just moved it down here. And she's just dead asleep. Angel. All right, see you in the next video. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm.